this is fun. Hey, folks, uh, some of you seen this for the first time, and we're taping this live on, on Facebook, but you've seen an interview with Terry Werner, and um, hey, hey, there I am right there. How about that? Uh, <laughs> you've seen an interview with Terry Werner, an incredible lady, author, speaker, vision coach, life coach. Uh, she sh shared the stage with Zig Ziglar, many others as well. I started a, a Fortune 500 a company uh, in, in her youth. She's, she's not slowing down anytime soon. But we've had this concept we've kept under our hat a little bit. Some of you have seen the insignia Boomer Chat. And uh, what is that about? Well, you know, I have made a, uh, I've had a lifetime of, of working with boomers uh, in, in the music scene and, and the, uh, the, the, the business marketing scene. Uh, Terry has done the same thing as well in the secular stage and the Christian stage as well. And we thought, you know, it's about time that the boomers have their own thing. And so as evidenced by my background, all the little uh, icons from, from, from my boomer friends and such. And of course, uh, Terry Werner right there, we're going to have some fun tonight and just kind of share a concept with you uh, that that's, that's about to, to get out there. And so how, without any further ado, how you doing? Welcome to Boomer Talk. Terry Werner, how you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. Terry, uh, you know, getting to know you has been so much fun. And this new book that you're about to come out with as well. Uh, you have an incredible stories, incredible stories. And, um, you know, along with that, too, uh, you have gone through an incredible uh, transformation back to normal and even a better version of yourself. We're going to get into that as well. But as someone who's meeting you for the first time saying, hey, who is this Terry Werner gal? Uh, how would you introduce yourself today? Well, first, I want to clear up a little bit of something is uh -huh. uh, I didn't start a Fortune 500 company. I co-founded a company that became public on the public, you know. OK. All right. So Good to know. Sure, uh, you know, I get that out there. How would I introduce myself is um, I'm a faith based entrepreneur on steroids. I love <laughs> seeing change in life, entrepreneurial excellence and leadership and how that all works together. And the coaching modalities, the coaching skills are something that I really believe is effective. Um, and the two things, connecting with your vision, committing to your vision, and creating collaborative strategies that undergird your vision. Vision must have strategies with it and strategies without vision is really pointless. And so those two together. So I'm a visionary strategist and I love seeing people connect powerfully to their vision. You know, excellent. Um, just I want to say this one thing that's kind of funny that came out the other day is you know, a lot of times when people in churches or in leadership or in businesses, their people don't show up, their people don't produce like they thought they would produce. Right. If there's any lack of arrival at expectations, many times you hear the phrase, well, they're just not committed to it. If they were committed, they would do it. I really don't believe that is the truth. I believe connection is the power. When they're con when they're connected, commitment is just an outbirth of that connection. And isn't that right now where we're at? We're talking about boomers, and um, we're right here where now we're connecting this way and on phone and text and very seldom even a call. And I wonder what kind of disconnection that may create for people in general. Well, you know, boomers are the fastest growing uh, group online. Uh, Facebook has become, in, in my opinion, the boomer TV network. I mean, my goodness. Of course, Christy, you know, my bride who who you're working with and she's working with you. She loves you, uh, as I do I. I. Uh, you know, all, all, all the, the incredible things that you're writing and doing and coaching and such. You know, um, my gosh, you know, today's grandma and grandpa, they're not, I'm a, I'm a grandparent, yeah, you know, when, uh, you, grandparents aren't sewing sweaters, knitting sweaters, they're, they're riding Harleys, they're playing rock and roll. And, and of course, you know, the best generation of music and movies and such a better time in America. And, uh, you know, Terry, when I do all the interviews I do with, with people like Ted Nugent and, and others, you know, I, I want to take people back to a better time. But it, it's long overdue that the boomers uh, have their own thing, their their own show. You know, I noticed in ministry, so much was based around the young that in 1998, yeah. you know, when I was 
uh, you know, a, a worship guy in Tulsa. I said, we, we need, we need something just for the pillars, you know, and for the boomers. And, and, um, and so, you know, we had so much fun, but, but nothing has changed. You know, there's still uh, the number one proactive group uh, in health, in personal development, uh, in home improvement, in travel, in pets. They haven't blown all their money uh, the way the other generations have. They have a lot to say. And, and I'm just thrilled, you know, that my favorite people group to do business with uh, since 1983, uh, uh, we're doing something just for you. Uh, the boomers, and uh, it, it's, it's it's an exciting time to be alive. But you know, a lot of boomers are 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 are, are re-entering uh, either a, a, they're starting a new business or re-entering the workforce or such. Uh, they need a competitive edge. They're living longer, and that's why it's so important. Uh, the boomers, you know, invest in themselves uh, not only mentally and spiritually, but also physically as well. That's absolutely true. You know, I think sometimes being a boomer, you know, as we both are, you're on the beginning edge. I'm on the the downside there um, is you get to, it's easy to get to a place where you wonder what is you know, where where are you in life? You almost start going through a circle of conversations or thoughts around where are you in your life? And sometimes if you're not careful, because we're inundated with the story of the youth. The churches, like you say, where we go, uh, everything is really seems to be very directed towards the youth, and which is fine. But at the same time, um, there are the people that have been the pillars, like you say, the founders, the funders, right. and the faith. And I, I got to that place in my own life, you know, wondering I'd done all these things and various things in my life, but had I really kept my promise to myself? Had I really kept what was necessary, what I had really committed to. And one thing I want to just say as an encouragement is all those things, God never wastes any time. God's time, he sees the overall time. We see this day, we see this minute. He sees the overall picture. And I just want to encourage people to know that God doesn't waste any time. Nothing, no tragedy, no trial, no dilemma that you've gone through that any of us have gone through is ever wasted it's right. meant to prepare us to shore us up and to provide that platform from which we spring forward to the next thing the next thing and sometimes instead of just settling and saying well here's where i am where am i going is the next question god where am i going where are you taking me to right. and in my life i have found that every single situation i've had some triumphs I've had some tragedies. I've had some trauma. I've had some stuff, you know, we all have had some stuff and um, you get, I've gotten to a place where I understand where the, literally the cavity inside of our spirit that is kind of shaped and formed by all we've learned and all we've gone through and the wisdom and the tears and how we've developed. It took some of those things to create who we are now and who we are now is ready for next. We're ready for next. I meet people 20 years ago, I'm almost 70. 20 years ago, if I'd met someone 70, honey, you're close to dead. I mean, you are close to dead. You're close to dead. <laughs> dead. That's what but you me, thought. You know, That's what you thought. Not yeah, now. Years ago. A years ago, when I turned 40, you almost had to literally get me on some kind of, you know, medication. Uh, so I threw myself a big penthouse party and said, hey, I'm turning 40 and I had it, I turned it into a big party, wrote a poem, got a dress, worked out, did all the stuff, you know, because I decided, well, if I'm not married to Tom Selleck by then, I'm going to be on a party. I'm going to be doing a party, <laughs> you know, a single party. and uh, so we had a party. We had a great time. And, you know, just to say every stage and age we are, God shows up differently for who we are becoming at that point. Right. I believe right. we become a new version of ourselves is required when we go into that next phase because we're what we did before is at this lower platform. Now God has taken us to a bigger platform. So I do think it behooves us to look at who we are now, where we are now, right. what we've learned and what we still yearn for. What is our calling? Because God hasn't forgotten us. God hasn't forgotten our calling. And I'm excited about this because boomers... I mean, we're on the edge. I was speaking, oh gosh, 15 years ago, traveled and spoke to boomers mm -hmm. across the United States with someone. And we spoke to, you know, we are 
not just the, the followers, we're the leaders. How do you know if you're really a leader? By how, by who's following? Do you have followers? Right, right. And we have the legacy. So anyway, I can run going and on, but you sure can. Legacy. And you have a lot of good things to say, <laughs> but, 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 you know, you know, and I love that about you too, Terry. I mean, cause you, you have a, have a lot of wisdom, you know, I'm, 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 I'm probably one of the first Xers right out of the boomers. Um, but, but I've, I've spent so many years working with boomers Im immediately, um, you know, that, that they've adopted me and, and I'm honored by that, but, but I'm excited though, because but through the years, you know, and, and I mean, my gosh, you know, um, all these years of, of working with boomers and, and seeing where the world is, the world's a different place now. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, so much uncertainty, so much confusion and, and some boomers have gone off the deep end, you know, and some have, have, uh, come full circle. You know, a lot of these celebrities uh, that I've interviewed that are, that are boomers, uh, have, have returned back to their faith, uh, you know, or have come to the faith after mm -hmm. doing the sex, drugs and rock and roll and realizing that, that, you know, you go to the top of the mountain and nothing's there. Uh, and so they value families, you know, but there's also some basic needs too, and, 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 and transitioning into what the needs of boomers are right now and why it's so important that we talk about these things and we encourage people, uh, put out positive media and steer people in the right, right direction to help them, you know, is that there's no longer a Christian and secular now. It's good and evil. It's light and darkness. It's it's everything mm -hmm. vile or, or everything good. It's just crazy uh, what, what's happening. And, and there's such a need, uh, you know, and again, uh, you know, I learned a long time ago to, to re respect uh, my elders. And, and so as a 13 year old piano prodigy and, and marketer, uh, I showed respect to my elders at that time. And, and the world just opened up uh, because, you know, uh, uh, now that I'm 54, which is a baby to some and boy, I didn't feel that way. But, you know, uh, I appreciate young people who want to learn, who want to have wisdom in this life, you know, um, you're saying, have you kept that promise that you made to yourself? You know, I love that saying that, that, that you, that you created Terry and, and we want to help people keep their promises to themselves. You know, a lot of boomers, they're, they're raising their own grandchildren now, uh, because of the, the fentanyl crisis. Um, a lot of them are, are finding themselves having to work longer than they planned they would because they're raising their grandchildren, uh, or, or because, you know, their children have had, have had, uh, multiple issues as well. It's very important more than ever that, that boomers take care of themselves physically, uh, spiritually, mm -hmm. and mentally, because you never know what you're going to face. You know a thing or two uh, about facing some some issues uh, and how, how to bounce back from that. You want to you mm -hmm. jump into that? Uh, sure. Um, I don't say the name of the particular ailment that half the globe seemed to get, but um, I had a very challenging hospital stay because of that. And between the drugs they gave me, which were, they gave me, they said, we're going to throw everything but the kitchen sink at you. And they did to the point I just said, hey, my body's not used to this. I did have some physical morbidities, you know, that was uh, certainly causing it to be worse and causing it to go through my body. I had some elevated, um, you know, blood sugar challenges and I was obese. And, um, you know, when someone writes down morbid obesity, and when you're at the doctor's, yeah, it's morbid. <laughs> thanks, for that, thanks for that pat on the back, doc. But anyway, um, you know, I wasn't 300 pounds, but I was substantially more than I am now. And that caused <clears throat> that um, ailment to go through my body, various areas of my body pretty quickly did a lot of damage. And I'm still um, having some challenges with the blood pressure challenges from that point. Uh, but it's interesting after eight weeks after I went through all that and I barely really, when I got home, I had written most of the book that we're actually publishing with Christie's helping me with train wreck mm -hmm. to triumph. And I didn't even recognize it when I sat down for about six to eight months. I really, I remembered part of it, but it, I really could not have written that book. So God's urgency to get me to write that book that I felt the prompting was good. Um, got out of the hospital and then I lost most of my hair. And, you know, wow. the scripture says, you know, hair is a woman's glory. Well, it's not just that to God, it's that to us, you know, 
I've never seen more desperation in anyone than women who have lost their hair uncontrollably. I mean, handfuls of hair, handfuls. That's of a big deal. It's a big deal. Wore a wig for a few months and then I found a product that we're not making medical claims or any kind of thing like that. But for me, I started seeing my hair not only come back in quickly, but I also saw it, the health of it uh, come back in radical ways. Now it's still growing at the speed of sound. I mean, literally it grows so fast. That as well as anti-aging. When I left the hospital, they had given me steroids that they give uh, for the most sick you can be. Right. Some of the highest level of, you know, of diseases they gave to me. So I left the hospital. My husband didn't even recognize me when he picked me up. Uh, I was so bloated and so just steroids. You could just see the inflammation on my body uh, for a long time. That inflammation existed. And so the product actually has products in it that not only help you get the right nutrition, but you absorb it. Nutrition is important for what you absorb of the nutrition. You can take everything from everybody, but if you're not absorbing that nutrition, then you're at your cellular level, you're really not going to receive the value. So people think they know, oh, I know this name. I know this name. I saw this at Costco. I'm going to buy it for $10. Right. And that's fine. That's up to you what you do. Yet understand that there's more to it, the absorption. So I started seeing the release of the inflammation dramatically. In the first six weeks, I look like I had lost 10 or 15 pounds or 20, maybe more. People kept thinking I'd lost weight. Well, I felt so good. And I started seeing the difference of how weight loss would look. I just started getting on a good program and continued to even increase my usage of the product. And I saw more and more inflammation. It, I saw my body's managing of carbs seem to be different. And carbs was always our challenge. You know, raised in a church, I'm a preacher's kid. If you can't dance, you can surely eat. You know, so <laughs> was about eating, you know? and they love uh, to eat. <laughs> yeah, I used to be a church designer. I designed churches across the United States for a business. Right. And every time was like, well, we can't meet on that night because Sister Smith can't get the cinnamon rolls done by then. <laughs> Everything's about cinnamon rolls. And I loved it. You know, it was great. Sticky fingers and all that. So, uh, but I saw such a difference take place in my cellular. It must have been in the communication in my cells is all I can put together. But I saw such a big difference in the quality of my life the quality of my hair and the quality of how I was able to release weight. It's not a weight loss program per se, but when your body becomes healthy, your body becomes healthy. Uh, one of the ingredients is astralostoxanthin, which was given the number one, the only, there's only one organization, one ingredient that can receive ingredient of the year worldwide in cognitive health. And it was astralostoxanthin. And I have seen in my own in my own self, after all that I went through, I have seen a sharpness, a return to focus, a sense of clarity. And you know that time in your life when you know you should do things, you know, oh, I should do that, I should do this. Oh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm going right. to get to that. After a while, I got to a place where those things were just, okay, we're on it. You know, with us working together, I'm not the one that, I'm not one of those persons that talk about something and then doesn't do it. I'm like, let's schedule it. What are we doing? How are we right. doing it? When do we do it? And that came back, which that had not been present in my thinking for probably 10 years before wow. I got sick. And so I think there's a lot of maladies going on in our body. A lot of situations where we're not as much as we thought we were, you know, we're used to, Oh, this is age. I'm not thinking like I used to. I can't remember names like I used to. I don't have the get up and go that I used to, I don't have the even capacity to be present. And sometimes we can get to this age and stage of life or whatever age of life and really not feel ourselves present. And some of that is the distraction. We're distracted by media. We're distracted by everything. We're multi-focusing, multi, or multitasking all the time, which actually is known to kill brain cells. So we're finding ourselves fragmented, our spirit fragmented, wow. our mind fragmented. We don't know what it is. We think it's something physical, and it may be. We think it's something, we don't know what it is. What it is, is a fragmentation that's being caused, some of it by multitasking. 
So the number one thing I say to boomers of any wow. age, have one window open on your computer at one time. Do not be doing the remote control where you're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Have you ever, now men do this all the time. You know, women kind of complain about this. We go to someone's house, we're there with the men and they're watching this ball game and this ball game. They're watching two or three different things at one time, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Or they flip back and forth between news channels. Well, that's what you do to your brain. When you multitask, you're flipping, almost using a remote control and flipping your brain back and forth from one thing to another. So all you get is little pieces of it. You get little catch little pieces of it. I'm convinced that most of the divorces that happened at a late age in life are many times happened because there's been a lot of missing in action kind of thing as far as how focused, how intentional we are and what where our intention goes, our attention goes. And so looking at that and just saying, you know, put the phone down, put the phone down. You know, how can I have all of you? How can I have all of you and honor people with this? And so that's what I is part of this whole thing here. I've gone down a rabbit trail. I need some more of my stuff to drink. Um, but all these things became corrected with the three products. It wasn't overnight, but it was certainly quicker than I could have imagined. I've always wondered, you know, that question, like, why am I feeling this way? Why do, don't I feel present? Why am I more distracted by everything around me than, you know, my life? What are we missing out? And when it comes to legacy, how are we not being present to our legacy? We have all these notes now on Facebook where notes from kids saying, I wish my mom loved me as much as her cell phone because she would look at me more often like she does the cell phone. What are we doing? Who are we being? Right. This product helped align with that and helped bring those things together for me. And I noticed I tried to lose weight for gosh, anybody that knows me, you know, I've been on a diet forever. Um, I would try to lose weight since 1989. I had been on a program. I had not been able to get back to that size. Stress happened. Eating carbs happened. More eating carbs, more stress happened, which caused me stressful. So I ate more carbs. Whatever happened, then my body went into a situation where it was not metabolizing. My liver wasn't functioning as well. You know, all those things that happened. Right. <clears throat> I, st I was able, when the inflammation was released from my body, I was able to go on that same program I won in 1989 that I've tried a hundred times and couldn't get it done to now my husband's literally saying, baby, you're looking a little thin, you know, which I no woman. That, that's a nice compliment to have, that. isn't it? <laughs> Every woman loves that. You know, that's not going to get you out of buying me diamonds. So don't get there. But uh, <laughs> said to him, but I was able to do that because I was, I think, because I was getting the nutrition I needed. Right. We well, we, we, inside yeah. our body. we've lost so much of that, you know, uh, with GMO foods, mm -hmm. no matter what you say, folks, no matter what they tell you, no matter what the scientists are paid to say, uh, the bottom line is that certain foods just don't have what they used to, you know, uh, I mean, my gosh, um, now, you know, there's, there's things on the horizon where they want us to eat bug protein. Now they'll eat steaks and, you know, the, the elite will eat steaks and caviar and, and champagne Chardonnay but they want you eating bugs and, and, or, or lab grown meat, uh, you know, or, or uh, 3d printed meat. Well, that's not meat folks. And so, you know, as the years have gone by and, and, and food has become more convenient, uh, mm -hmm. you know, easier to make cheaper to, to buy, or, you know, of course, a lot of, a lot of the profit margins are, are off, off the charts there. Uh, the food, the quality of food has just really gone down. Does, does your milk taste the way that it used to? No, it doesn't. Uh, you know, uh, you know, we can go on years about that, but you happened upon something um, that that's going to be a, a regular thing that, that I, I'd like to have, you know, people to be able to access it on the screen, because the whole purpose of doing this show for boomers is to celebrate them, to encourage them, uh, you know, to, to maybe step down memory lane a couple of times, have fun with this, but because boomers are still carrying so much of the load uh, with their children, their grandchildren, uh, in society as well, you know, uh, uh, we want you to, to be feeling better 
And uh, again, uh, you know, can't make certain claims, but you show me before and after pictures of, of what you went through and how you mm -hmm. look now. Oh my gosh. And then, you know, to, to hear about a, a woman losing her hair, that's a huge, huge, huge thing. Now you've got so much hair, you know, yeah. that, that, that you got to uh, spend time with that. And when I first met you, Terry, I, I noticed these posts that you were doing on Facebook. I thought, well, she's, she's a, a lovely boomer, man. She's a, wow. And then the before and after pictures, I thought, my gosh, what is she doing? You know, and of course in television, the cameras are cruel, man. You know, uh, when, when you hear that a camera adds on 10 pounds, it does. I think it adds on more, but, but you have to look a certain way if it's your livelihood. And I thought, my gosh, I, I've got to do something, you know, and I'm working so much. I, I need a better focus. And hey, you know, I, I've held onto my hair a lot longer than, than most of my friends have, you know, but but when I go under certain lights or whatever in these interviews, it's embarrassing, you know, if if uh, if, if my head looks all fuzzy or or glowing or whatever. I, and, and in television, people are funny, Terry, you know, uh, uh, one of the networks I was on, people would write in, is he feeling okay? Is he tired? You know, is he, is he sick? And I'm thinking, my gosh, they're, you know, they're not even listening to, to, to the vital information uh, that I'm trying to convey. Uh, mm -hmm. And so I needed to do something. And sure enough, let me tell you something, folks. Um, I can tell you firsthand. And so can my wife. Uh, we'll, we'll just, we'll phrase it this way because there's certain things that we can't say. Uh, and we can't claim that's fine. We can talk experience, but, but it, it, is it okay to phrase it this way, Terry, that if you want, if, if you're interested, if you're interested, or if, if a better focus, uh, a possible better focus, how's that a possible, uh, 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 better hair situation, a possible, uh, better skin situation, and a uh, uh, possible uh, vitality, guys, if you know what I mean, uh, uh, sounds interesting to you. If that sounds interesting at all to you. Uh, then you might want to visit that website you're seeing, uh, you know, right, right up here. Uh, we want you living longer. Uh, you know, I, that's my desire is, is for all great people to, to get the, the most out of their life, um, out of their health, out of their focus. And with making no claims, I can tell you firsthand experience on my own. Uh, my skin is better than it was. I can say that. My hair is thicker than it was. My vitality is better than it was. I didn't have a. I didn't really have a problem with that. But I, let me just say that, uh, guys. You know, it, it's awful nice if every once in a while uh, you 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 can feel like a teenager, and when we can leave it at that. But if any of that sounds interesting to you. Uh, then visit that up there. And, uh, you know, as we go from topic to topic in these shows and all that, uh, there's a reason why I, I can tell you that uh, it's absolutely wonderful uh, to, to experience what, what I'm experiencing and for my wife uh, to, to experience what she's experiencing Loving as well. It. You know, and for you, Terry, I mean, my gosh, you know, these. So anyway, w was all that permissible to say it like that? Is that cool? I think so. I think yeah. so. Yeah. I would say this too. Um, if I knew of something that has made the differences you're talking about for others, what would be your willingness to know more, just to hear a little more? Mm. This is something easy. You know, I'm not a pill person, so my body just doesn't metabolize pills well. I don't like taking pills. This is something in a little, I wish I had a sachet. I don't, little sachet, you drink it once or twice a day. You could carry it through the airport. Um, and it just is good. I can feel something the minute I take it. Some people, it takes a while for them to feel that. And uh, it's amazing because right now we have to look at what is next not in next in our life, but what is next in our culture and our environment? What did we not know in 2018 that came? And we just don't know. And we certainly don't make any medical claims. And at the same time, we all know that nutrition makes a difference for our body to operate at optimum. And we don't know what optimum is going to be, is going to be optimal is going to be for us at some point. We don't know what that looks like. Right how we're going to need to be able to be, you know, in the fight, in the fight for right. what's right. And, um, and it is a fight, isn't it? 
um, you know, people are, are being in the media. Um, I can tell you that, you know, that there was a time when journalism was journalism. There was a time, you know, facts, remember, you know, Dragnet, uh, just the facts, ma'am, right? Uh, it's not that anymore. It's activism. Uh, there was a time when when um, uh, you got some really good advice, uh, a, a time when when what they would call medicine is now labeled uh, holistic medicine. It's now labeled, you know, wacky when when before uh, Rockefeller uh, took over the, the medical situation and the educational situ situation, he he wanted a nation of workers, not a nation of thinkers. And so, you know, there was a time when. Again, journalism was journalism, medicine was medicine, and, and now everything is so politicized, it's so propagandized, it's so activized, activated, I should say. Uh, uh, but but in a situation like that, you folks, you, you're on your own to find what's best for you. Uh, you know, with with the Boomer Chat, we're going to do our best to inspire and encourage and entertain and inform. Uh, but in addition to that, we also want you to to to, uh, to perform at your best. And without making certain claims, we're going to encourage you uh, to seek those answers out on your own. You know, but right now, now more than ever, you know, we're we're in a society that that uh, your your water doesn't have the best things in there for your air, your food. You know, some some may say, you know, some of those some of those hippies from back in the day would say the same thing today, man. You know, there 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 are are some who would say, "Hey, uh, your air is being poisoned, your water is being poisoned, your food's being poisoned, you're being taxed when you die, you you know, you're sold cancer treatments, you know, and and uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, why is it that other parts of the world are are having cancer breakthroughs and and those cancer breakthroughs are not allowed here?" Uh, it's because there's a lot of money involved, folks. So, you know what? In your quest for answers, uh, for inspiration and encouragement and information, uh, be encouraged by those who are looking out for you. You know, Terry, I think it's safe to say that that this endeavor we're doing, this fun boomer thing we're doing, uh, we're doing it because we're looking out for people. We care about people and uh, we want to encourage people. Your new book, uh, you, you've said the title a couple of times, and for those who haven't heard it, I love the title. Tell us the title. Train to, it's train wreck to triumph. Yeah. And it is a book and coaching journal on supporting you to turn your, de your derailments into destiny. I love and it. I don't know if anybody on this show has ever had a derailment, but I've had a few and it's basically <laughs> principles helping people walk through that. I'm excited about that. I'm excited. I'm excited too. I love the name. I love the name, you know, and, and you said, turn your derailments into destinies. Oh my gosh. Is there a boomer out there that, that doesn't know the, <laughs> the, the, that right. song, you know, all the derailments, you know, if, if, if well, you know, if I knew them, what I know now, you know, mm -hmm. uh, when, when we're younger, we think those old folks don't know anything, but you know what, the older we get, the smarter, the smarter our folks get, you know, and right. uh, you, you, That's you right. know, a thing or two, but you know, you've had a lot of successes, Terry. Uh, and here you are, you know, uh, you're not done by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, you've got a, a new lease on life. And, mm -hmm. and a, a, a good, a good part of that is because you, you got your health back, you know, um, you got some vitality back, got your hair back, you lost weight, you know, you, you put in to your body some things that, that, that needed to be there. And a lot of people that are watching, they're in the same situation too. You know, I, I don't know if you remember the, the the show, the movie, The Prince's Bride. You remember The Prince's Bride? How oh, funny? Yes. <laughs> you know, and 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 uh, it was funny, but the 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 prince was talking to his his uh, his his henchmen, so to speak. You know, and and the, they weren't very good guys, but they they did say it. They said a timeless truth. They said, you know what? If you don't have your health. You don't have anything. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they, they weren't up to good. But but for those of you who are up to good, you know, you're 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 uh, enjoying the season of your life. or You're wanting to, you know, it's really important that you invest in yourself, you know, and, uh, you know, there's that journey song. Be good to yourself uh, when, no, when nobody else will. You know, sometimes the only person being good to you is you. And so, you know, putting into your mind, your body, your heart, your spirit, 
uh, good things, you know, good things and, uh, and go the distance. And so anyway, just want to, to come on a Facebook live with you and with Terry and, and, uh, you know, let, let you let some of my people, you know, see her again and, and, you know, sh- good goodness, Terry, I mean, you could do an eight, eight hour seminar off the top of your head. <laughs> You know, I, I don't know if, if, if you're going to um, allow people to, to book some, some life coaching with you uh, via phone mm-hmm. or via zoom sometime or, or whatever events. Awesome. Business you, you or know. life coaching. Actually it's a business coaching, but everything, yeah. how you do anything is how you do everything. Right. And so we start out with whatever they're wanting it to be. And then it, it morphs around into it. So yes, they can contact me. Do you want me to give my contact information or you, you can please do. do. And, and for those who are watching this live on Facebook, I'm, I'm going to type in the contact information as well. Uh, as we're talking, go ahead, Terry, what, what's the best way to connect with you? It's Terry T E R I Werner W E R N E R coach C O A C H at gmail.com. And that's Warner, W-E-R-N-E-R, and Terry has one R and one I. I get that question a lot. Uh, But for the Boomer Chat, I actually um, provide a special pricing, a special opportunity, because I want people to really make sure they're connected with their vision. We may want to revisit vision. Right. It's so incredibly important. Um, And see where they are right now. You know, if I had, you know, they say, do you know, what are you going to do today? I think you put it out there as well. What are you going to do today that your future self will thank you for? Yes. If I had one thing, uh, and there's a lot of things I would do differently, but if I had one thing that my 50 year old self, if it would ask me, I would say is, um, you know, get healthy quicker. Pay attention to what are your obstacles. When you think of your destiny, first of all, if you don't know what that is or you don't know what your calling is or vision is, we can work on that. But if you don't know that, find it. We can do that. The other part is what is holding you back? What is the thing that every time you think about moving forward, what's your no? What's your no? Because God always has an answer. He has a resource. He always has an answer. It's a God yes. But what what is what has been holding you back and pay attention to the patterns of other people in your life and your pattern in your life. So just real quick, I always wanted to do my own talk show. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to do get the book out, do all these things. There's a lot of things, a lot of things, because I, you know, information I have, I think is very uh, vital. But it's it's more vital to more people. It's not just me in a closet, you know, me and you and a dog named Boo kind of thing. It really needs to be <laughs> more people. And but the thing that would always hold me back was I felt when I would be speaking, I didn't hardly feel I had energy sometimes mm-hmm. to continue. Right. I got to the place where I didn't have that whatever you want to call it that gets you going to the next thing. I felt right. like I right. lost that. And the other thing was the patterns in myself, I always felt like, well, when I'm ready, I'll do this. Well, I didn't ask myself, what's ready? What's ready? Mm-hmm. And when I, uh, I will tell you, this is my honest testimony is, is I was mentioning it to someone, a friend of mine the other day. I cannot overstate how important getting your body healthy is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When I, I felt all these things, especially since the situation with my health, I felt all these things were holding me back, holding me back, holding me back. And I was really performing at a level of lack of excellence. And I'm a person that really embraces excellence. So that bothered me. So I was really looking at that. But as I want that, I think the best thing I ever did, period, was get my body in alignment with who I said I was. Who I said I was, was a woman of excellence, but I didn't convey that in how I presented myself in my my vitality for life my vim and vigor and that kind of thing I found it easier to be negative than to be positive I found my mindset shifting all these things were attached in many ways to my health when I took action and said enough is enough and when I took action and decided you know what? No, no more. No longer will my health control my destiny. No longer will I allow that to be the case. And I can tell you the day it was. I can tell you the moment it was because it was a monumental change for me. And I said, no, 
I'm going to do the thing. I'm going to take the action, have the attitude and move forward to accelerate. And when I did that, doors opened, things changed. Yeah. Everything changed, not only within me and my mindset, but it changed on my outer environment. When I right. started changing my inner environment, my outer environment started changing. Um, different opportunities came up. Different realities started happening. I started experiencing as fully as I was experiencing my health became as fully I was experiencing my life. And I don't know if that's for everyone. I believe it is. But take control of what you have the power to control. Well, I, I, I saw that you did that. I thought, man, she's got a glow. And then, and then I, I met you. Then I got to know you a little bit. I thought, man, wow. Uh, and, then, and then the before and after pictures of, of what you went through and how you overcame, I thought, man, wow, what is that? And then you told me. And I thought, man, gosh, if I if I had a dime for every time someone wanted me to <laughs> to try something, you know, uh, whatever, or you know, I'll, you'll spend you know seven hundred bucks, and then next month, you know, they, but you know, um, I thought I'm going to give this a try because there is a money back guarantee within a certain amount of time, and uh, I did. I thought, oh my gosh, is this? I mean, am, am I imagining this? I'm I'm really feeling a different. I'm feeling better. Uh, you know, and then I thought, man, um, wow, I, uh, uh, it seems like my hair's a little thicker, you know, with a certain amount, uh, it, it only took folks. You wouldn't believe how, how quickly I saw effects in, in my, my skin, my hair. And then to my plus surprise, you know, uh, cause I always want to be better no matter what I always want to be better. I'm always trying to improve. I've all, you know, I've always felt that way. I always want to be that way. Cause I, I put out a tremendous amount of media. I mean, 11 TV shows a week. Okay. I mean, I have to have a lot of energy and that's not counting the special events. I do. It's not counting the consulting. I do. It's not counting the, the creation that I do, uh, you know, but, but I thought, man, my productivity, my skin, my hair, and then my vitality guys. Hey, let me tell you something. Uh, look, it is what it is. When you get older, there's things that are missing in your body. There's, you, there's your testosterone levels go down. Okay. No matter how tough you look, but, but when you put things back into your body that you need, you're going to find out that, that the, the, the way that you, the way you, the, the way you feel and the results that you see in the gym may be different. Uh, when you put back into your body, what used to be there, let me just tell you, I was so motivated and inspired. I thought, my gosh, I'm going to talk to Terry. And we're going to do something and we're going to encourage people, uh, not only with the boomer stuff, because I, I adore the boomers. I've made a I've made a small fortune with the boomers all my whole whole life. But I also really want people, um, one of my favorite demographics of people to to do better, perform better, live longer uh, and all that. And, and I want to encourage them. So that's when I decided, well, we, we need something uh, just for boomers and Terry, you know, I just was inspired for, because you're, you're the embodiment uh, of, of, of a boomer that is maximizing their, their experiences and their wisdom. And, you know, you're living, you're living a, a life that uh, you're bettering yourself. So all that to say is, you know, go to boomer.chat. Uh, there's a there's a money back guarantee. I personally do an elixir. The show is not about that, but we will mention it because in a way it, it's it's helping this. Um, but you know, to bring it to you for free. But all that to say is, if 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 you want to continue uh, to to maximize your time, put into your mind and your heart and your body what you need to to accomplish that because you're not done yet. And as long as you're alive, you haven't missed it. So why not do it and feel great and look great at the same time? So Terry, thanks so much for joining me right now. I'm excited for what's next. And, and folks, make contact with Terry too. As, as time goes on, you'll find out how you can connect with her. And, you know, I quoted you to a world diplomat the other day, Terry. Would you believe oh, really? that? I did. I did. I quoted you and I, I was going live with Israel uh, and I said, you know, uh, my friend, Terry, author and speaker, Terry Werner, she's a coach too. Uh, she said, the only thing that changes patterns is coaching. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to be coaching uh, a whole multitude of people, Terry, uh, through Great, the, things, the, the things that you do on your own, but also the things we're going to do inspiring, encouraging with Boomer Chat. So with all that said, thank you for joining me, Terry. And thank you folks for watching this live. Uh, be sure and replay it and share it with your friends. 
go to that website, get, you know, and, and, and if getting a new lease on your life sounds interesting to you, uh, go to boomer.chat, www.boomer.chat. Check out that elixir there. Uh, it, boy, I tell you what, guys, uh, take, you know, you, you, if you thought new commercials were good, uh, you know, that's great. Let me tell you, I've tried everything and, 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 uh, I've, I've just been doing some more muscle building and stuff and every part of my life, uh, uh, I think I'm getting a little bit more mileage during the day uh, by putting good things into my body as well as into my mind and spirit. So thank you again, Terry, for being a part of this. Thank you. We'll Thanks see you next so time much. on Boomer Chat.